toxic siblings can put a damper on a lot of things. Depending on the level of toxicity, it can be hard to engage with the rest of your family or even friends that have been there for some time. It can also put stress on you while you try to suppress your feelings for the sake of keeping things civil between the two of you. There's a myriad of reasons why we keep toxic siblings at arm's length. But what can we do once we've identified the issue? Here's 10 ways to deal with a toxic sibling. Number one, speak up. In all reality, your sibling might not even know that they are hurting you. In this case, it is imperative that you speak up and let them know how you are feeling. This could invite some issues if the sibling is aware of their behavior and doesn't care. But for your well-being, it is something that you should highly consider. It is important to keep in mind that your sibling might feel attacked or just be unwilling to discuss things with you. If that is the case, it is best to take a break and revisit the conversation after your sibling has had some time to digest what you've already told them. Number two, set boundaries. It is often hard to avoid your sibling, but that doesn't mean that you have to let them have unfettered contact. Set boundaries that will let them know what you will and won't tolerate. If you have a sibling that enjoys making you the butt of the joke, you can remind them that jokes and funny stories are always welcome, but ones that are harmful to you are not acceptable. If your sibling likes to belittle you, this is the prime opportunity to stand up for yourself. Number three, change the opportunities. If setting boundaries doesn't work and you're still getting nowhere with your sibling, you can cut the contact. If they have continued to target you, it might be time to tailor your actions around them. You might have a sibling that likes to make biting comments towards you when you're alone, so you may need to stick with a small group when they are around. If they like to single you out at the dinner table, perhaps sitting with other family and engaging in conversation with them is what's needed. Minimizing the opportunities your sibling has to get under your skin will make it much easier for you to be around them. It will also allow you to be around the rest of your family and to be happy while there. Number four, don't normalize their behavior. Do not let them think that what they do or say that is toxic is in any way all right. Make sure they know that what they did or said was wrong and why. In most cases, your sibling will try to diminish your feelings or brush the entire thing under the rug. Don't let them. Make it a point to address these issues regardless of what they have to say about what they've done. Let's be honest, they probably won't listen to what you have to say because abusive people rarely do, but it is important for you to assert yourself in this situation. Number five, walk away. This doesn't mean that you are walking away from them or your family. This just means that you are walking away from them and the situation at hand. If you aren't there, then they can't target you. They might talk about you a bit, but it stops being fun when you aren't there to give them visual or verbal feedback, and chances are they will get bored and move on to something else. This will also give you the time you need to gather your thoughts and prepare for what you might need to do next, whatever you decide that to be. It will also stop you from reacting emotionally, which might give that sibling another dose of ammunition against you. Number six, take the high road. Don't get upset, no matter how hard it might be. If your sibling is cutting you down for something, just let it roll off your back and be the bigger man. There is no reason for you to stoop to their level and causing a scene may turn the tides against you when it comes to others. Not showing that you are upset will also take some of the fun out of what your sibling is doing. If you aren't taking the bait, then they won't put as much of it out there. Number seven, counseling. Counseling can be a great way for you to get your feelings off your chest in a safe and secure environment. If you aren't sure how you want to confront your sibling, you can ask for advice and roleplay some scenarios to better plan for upcoming conversations that you might be having with them. If you've already spoken to your sibling and they are receptive to what you've said to them, then family counseling could be the next step in mending your relationship. Having an unbiased mediator there will boost your confidence as well as add protection in case your sibling starts to become angry or frustrated in the direction of the conversation. Number eight, trust yourself. Do not rationalize the toxic sibling's behavior. It will only perpetuate the harmful cycle you are more than likely already trapped in. When someone treats you badly or says something hurtful, they are doing it on purpose and there is no amount of internal monologue that will change that fact. If it feels like they are intentionally hurting you and it sits within their pattern of behavior, then chances are it was done in a calculated way to get at you. Your feelings and intuitions are there for a reason. Use them. Remember, no one has the right to tell you how you feel. If you feel that something is wrong, then trust that and look into it, just to be sure. Number nine, try to trust them. If you have spoken to your sibling and they appear genuinely remorseful, then you should at least try to trust them. Trust might be something that you have a hard time with, given the track record of your relationship, but it is something that you should attempt. Don't fall for an apology that lacks feeling. Go with your gut on that one but giving them the benefit of the doubt may be a much needed olive branch. 
you should continue to have boundaries and guard yourself when you feel most vulnerable around them. But in the long run, they might surprise you and change their ways. If they say they will try to change, yet continue to do the exact things they apologized for, then trusting them probably isn't something that you need to visit at that time. Number 10. Say goodbye. It is always hard to cut family out of your life. But if all your other efforts at reconciliation have failed, then cutting ties completely might be your only option. Don't do this lightheartedly. It is important that you put effort into the situations as well. But we all know that there are some things that can't be salvaged no matter how hard we try. If you do decide that saying goodbye is what needs to happen, you'll want to get your reasoning out in the open. Use this as an opportunity to speak your piece. Let your sibling know what they have done and why you have come to this decision. You don't want to leave yourself with stones unturned, so make sure that you get all your feelings out before you stop taking their calls. In the end, wishing them the best of luck and closing that door may be your key to freedom and better mental health. Have you had to deal with a toxic sibling in your life? Share your stories in the comments below. On a different note, Psych2Go will now be selling shirts. Links will be in the description below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.